Hello there, this tutorial is going to be about how to use Gubrick along with Google Classroom for grading completely online. So I would start here by creating a folder within my class. Uh, I usually create one where I have all the assignments kept and a second one for rubrics and Doctopus. Uh, so in my rubric folder here, I'm going to be working on the newsletter rubric. I have just been making copies of the rubrics and adjusting them for each individual assignment. So what's important to know here is it does have to be done in a spreadsheet. Uh, you want to leave cell A1 blank. And then what you would want to do is a lot points. Or you could use generic descriptors like excellent, not meeting expectations, etc. Your highest score is going to be all the way over to the right, and then working back to the left would be your lowest score. You're then going to put your categories, whatever they may be, in column A. And then what you're going to do is you can leave this open and just go right back over to your Google Drive. You're going to go to rubrics. You're going to go to your folder. I'm going to go into my Doctopus folder now. I've already run Doctopus for this assignment. Otherwise, you would create a new spreadsheet here to do this. You want to do a new spreadsheet for each and every assignment when you're using Google Classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my newsletter assignment spreadsheet here. So the first sheet here is blank. Okay, typically when I'm doing this for the first time, I would need to get the add-on Doctopus. Okay, so you could just type right in here Doctopus. And you would add it in, it is a free application. That would then add it into your menu here. So you would launch Doctopus from here, which I'm going to go ahead and do and see if any students have resubmitted their assignments. Okay, uh, typically you can watch the previous tutorial where I walk you through the steps if you're doing Doctopus for the first time. I'm going to look for new submissions before I go ahead and grade. This will take a few minutes because it's talking with Classroom and pulling everything over into Doctopus at this point. So there are no new submissions. You can see the pop-up that just came up over here. So in the second tab is all of the assignments that it ingested. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to actually use a student that gave me permission to use hers, Addie, who's now up top here. So I'm going to click on the link here to launch Addie's assignment. And before I do that, I would want to add a rubric in here. So if I change the rubric at all as I'm grading, I do need to go back and change it. It does not automatically update the spreadsheet in Doctopus. So here's Addie's assignment. My next move is that I'm going to launch the extension for Gubrick up top here once I have her assignment open. It's going to open a separate tab now. So up top here I have the rubric that I created laid out for me so that I can easily grade Addie's assignment. 
Down here at the top, I have the assignment that I shipped out to my students in Google Classroom. On top are the directions that I gave them. Oftentimes, teachers just put a blank piece of paper there so they can put their work in. I had my students actually use the screenshot snipping tool feature to do this. I've already walked through Addie's assignment here, so I'm going to start grading. There's a few different things I can do here. I can record audio comments for Addie by clicking over here. I can't do audio over my audio, uh, but what you would do with this is you could talk into your computer if you have a microphone or a laptop, and then you upload the recording to Google, and when you click on Submit, those your audio recording is sent directly to the student. Secondly, I'm going to go through the actual rubric and give Addie her points. Now, Addie happened to do very well on this, so I can type in her points here or I can click over here. Since in this situation, I gave different point amounts out, my rubric scoring doesn't exactly work correctly, so I'm going to type in scores over here. Now, if you used words, uh, you would just be clicking on boxes. <laughs> And it does automatically highlight as you're going through the categories. So I'm going to leave a comment here. As soon as I click on submit, Addie gets an email sent to her with the rubric attached and any comments that I made. And it automatically progresses to my next student and grading. What I do need to do from there. Uh, the grade is recorded in a third column, in a third sheet here that I can't get to. Um, I do need to go back to Google Classroom and release the assignment to Addie if I'm going to allow my students to make any corrections. If I do not return the assignment in Classroom, they are locked out of it. So I can go in here. If I wanted to, I could put Addie's grade in here since they're already getting it in two places in the email that I'm sending out to them as well as in PowerSchool when I upload them. I'm just going to click return. You can do multiple students. You can highlight the whole class at once and do it that way. You can also send them a note in here. So if they did not correctly submit the assignment, you would want to put individual notes in as opposed to when I mass email them back to return the assignment. So that is how you use Gubrick along with Google Classroom.